Hey everyone, this is Dr. David Song from the Rehab Hero Clinic. Today we'll be talking about a condition that affects your elbow called cubital tunnel syndrome. This condition may cause clicking on the inside of your elbow, so watch the rest of this video to figure out how to fix it. Cubital tunnel syndrome is considered a peripheral nerve entrapment of what's called the ulnar nerve. This ulnar nerve branches off of the brachial plexus, which comes from the neck, travels through the inner arm, underneath this piece of bone right here in your elbow, here it's actually known as the funny bone, and then it travels through the forearm into your pinky and ring fingers. Cubital tunnel syndrome occurs when the soft tissues that surround this ulnar nerve become really tight and restricted. And what happens is that it ends up putting pressure on that ulnar nerve leading to restricted movement. When you end up doing these bending motions through the elbow, the nerve actually comes out of its groove in the cubital tunnel, clicks over the bone and goes back in, leading to that clicking sensation that you might feel. People who typically feel this clicking sensation in the inner elbow typically feel it when they're doing any exercise that activates the triceps and elbow extension. This includes triceps extensions on the cable pulling machine, a bench press, or even a push-up. The exercises that we're going to do today aim to mobilize the soft tissues surrounding that ulnar nerve, predominantly the triceps muscle, as well as actually work on your nerve mobility itself. So let's get started with the first exercise. The first exercise that we need to do is going to be the tricep self massage and it uses a massage ball. You could get these from anywhere. You can even use a lacrosse ball or even a soft ball to help you with the massage of your triceps muscle. Your triceps is at the back of your arm. So what we're going to do is place this ball onto an elevated surface like a bench. Now you can also do this on your desk at home or any other chair, but all you're going to do is place that ball right onto a tender spot on along that triceps muscle. From here, you're only going to put enough pressure so that there's about a 5 out of 10 intensity. You don't want to bruise the muscle, you don't want to crush the muscle. All you're doing is giving it some stimulus here. From there, all you're going to do is slowly extend that elbow and you're going to slowly flex it back up. And you're going to feel this muscle floss underneath the pressure of the massage ball. You want to go at a general two to four second cadence with this. So we're going nice and slow. We're not rushing through this. And you're going to do about four to five repetitions. From here, you can find another tender spot along that triceps muscle belly, and then you're going to repeat. I like to do about three to four different spots, and I try not to repeat the same spot to avoid bruising the muscle. This exercise you could do about two to three times a week as needed, but all we're really looking to do is aid in the recovery of the triceps muscle. We're not trying to beat it up. So if you're trying to massage it out daily, you might be actually prolonging your prognosis, which means you might actually delay the recovery of your condition. Let's move on to the next exercise. The next exercise that we'll be doing is called ulnar nerve flossing. The point of this exercise is to introduce some ulnar nerve mobility. Now, there's lots of different ways to do ulnar nerve flossing, but I'll be giving you the version I like to give my patients. When you're doing this exercise, it's really important that you're doing it symptom-free. So if you feel an excessive stretch or a nerve tension type of feeling, you want to cut down on the range of motion. This exercise is kind of funky looking, so try your best to follow along. What we're going to do is first start with our head tilted towards the arm that we're targeting. From here, we're going to raise our elbow just a little bit and have that elbow outstretched just like that. From here, we're going to get your fingers and we're going to create this kind of okay sign with your hand. And you're going to extend the wrist. From here, you're going to do a simultaneous movement between your head and arm. So you're going to simultaneously move your head into the opposite direction while pulling your hand towards your head. So this is what it looks like. From here, we're just going to go, raise the elbow up, hand like this, and then we're twisting that wrist and okay sign. From there, we're just going to go back down into the position that we started at. So just like I said, if you do feel some nerve tension or some clicking happening at the elbow, all you gotta do to offset that tension is to just lower that elbow a little bit. That should be a lot more comfortable for you. From there, you could then repeat that exercise. Generally this exercise, you wanna do about 20 repetitions, and you could do this exercise daily because honestly, you shouldn't feel anything while you're doing this. And if you don't feel anything, you're probably doing it correctly. You go at this kind of speed, so this kind of one, two, one, two, kind of tempo and you will be doing this daily in the morning or at night it doesn't really matter what time of day you're doing it just get those 20 repetitions in 
Next, we'll be going into the triceps stretching exercise. The last exercise that we're going to be doing today is called the band assisted tricep stretch. You can use any type of band for this exercise, but the one I like to use is called a pull up assist band. This type of band is a long loop and it provides about 15 to 20 pounds of resistance. From here, all you're going to do is unravel the band, take a step to anchor one edge of it down to the floor. Then you're going to just hold it with the arm that's affected. From here, you're just going to raise this hand behind your body and then allow the elbow to go up overhead. What you should notice is a tricep stretch starts to occur. This is what it looks like from the back. Now the reason I like to use the band is that as a muscle starts to relax from this stretch, the band will actually naturally deepen that stretch for you. This way you don't have to really kind of tug and pull with your standard tricep stretch, but just let the band do all the work. You'll hold this for about 20 to 30 seconds and you'd want to do this exercise daily to get that triceps to stretch out. And that's how you can start working towards the recovery of your cubital tunnel syndrome. We went over some soft tissue mobilization, some tricep stretching, and ulnar nerve mobilizations as well. If you're still experiencing issues despite doing these exercises, or if you're experiencing issues while doing these exercises, it's highly recommended that you consult your local healthcare practitioner to get your elbow assessed. It might be something else you wanna make sure you know what you're dealing with. If you have any questions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.